Yeah, tell me about yourself and what you have done so far throughout your project. Uh, for senior uh, developer, you will be hired here, right? Yeah. So, uh, as per that experience, if something like uh, if something is assigned that uh, you have to create whole folder structure and everything from from the scratch, yeah. Then, what will be your approach? Yeah. So, folder structure like uh, we will have a uh, we will have a page folder first, which will basically define like uh, what are the pages we are going to have in the applications. Then we will have a components folder in which we will have a uh, like multiple reusable component that can be used anywhere in our application. Then we will have a like a utility folder in which a, some function is going to use commonly <coughs> in other case as well, in other component as well. So we will move that part into the utility folder. And uh, for, <clears throat> for having a like interacting with the API, so there will be one API file as well, like API folder as well. And uh, these are the basic uh, folder. So if I have to do internationalization, okay, I want it uh, I don't want to hard code my text. I want to uh, I want to make it uh, dynamic. So how can I make the text dynamic? Let's say I am using English or Spanish or uh, Chinese, anything else. So how can we make dynamic? Okay, we'll start with HTML. So HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So have you worked on any web storage? Yeah, web storage, like we had work like local storage, uh, like local storage and HTML storage are both are used for storing the information in the browser. HTML storage is basically provide like uh, uh, some duration if you, if you if you give a duration then the data will basically automatically delete actually uh, after the specific time but what will happen if we are having two tabs okay i am storing my data in session storage and uh, so first tab and second tab so my question is like my session will persist in the second tab uh, with local storage you can uh, access the data um, between multiple window as well like if you open a new window so uh, in CSS, any preprocessor have you worked CSS preprocessor uh, SAS uh, I have worked uh, SAS actually can you write me down how can we uh, how can we like create a variable in SAS? Yes, yes. In uh, in chat box you can just write. Okay. You can create like this uh, variable. So we can use this variable. Uh, okay. So, uh, what do you understand by block element and inline element? So, block element basically uh, occupy the entire uh, line actually, and uh, inline basically occupy the space. Uh, I mean, like if you have this like one small uh, contents. So, in case of block element, it will uh, it will occupy the whole line, but in case of inline, it will occupy up to that display uh, and block level always basically start from the new line, but in case of inline, uh, uh, we can start in the same line if you have another element. So, according to JavaScript, uh, what are the 
uh, year six teacher with whichever you have worked? So like uh, we I have used like so far like let const uh, is spread operator rest operator object destructuring uh, template literal template literal and okay, so we will start with uh, let where and const okay. So can you tell me the difference between let, let and const? Let const and where? So for like where is basically uh, it has it, it has a function scope while let const has a has a uh, block level scope. Okay, so uh, let's say I have this const const a. So. Yes. So can I uh, can I change my name? Can I do uh, something like this? Uh, we can change name. Yes. Uh, yes, we can change uh, name here. Okay. So can you tell me the reason? So so since here. Uh, we are dealing with the object so in case of object we can change the value i mean we, we can change the object property value here okay, so uh, i'm sending this thing like this okay yes tell me the output uh, see, check the first for loop, okay? Yes. So, in the first for loop, I have a var, okay, var num of uh, 14396, okay? Then, inside this for loop, I have a, I have a uh, set timeout, okay? Okay. So, uh, what will be the output for in, in case of first, okay? Inside the for loop and outside of for loop, okay? Same thing, like, for the second one. Inside the for loop, what will be the value of number one, number one, okay? And what will be the value of number one outside of the for loop? Uh, do you know what is uh, what is the difference between map and for each? Uh, map, I mean basically yeah. both both actually use for like uh, for looping the element in in array. So map basically uh, return a uh, new array actually. But uh, for is uh, doesn't return. Uh, so, like, yeah. Oh, oh, just let me write. Yes. Oh, yes. So what it will print if we are doing console log a? Uh, it will return undefined uh, for each method. Uh, it will return undefined for this one. Instead of for each, I am using map. Then what will be console log a? No, I mean for map it will return one, two, three, four. Okay. So coming to React. So uh, can you tell me the life cycle of React? Uh, so we have life cycle like uh, we have like get derived state from top. Uh, we have a component dead mount. 
we have like some component update uh, then get the snapshot before update and we have component date of update and component will un unmount we have so this this these are the life cycle we have uh, do you want me to explain uh, you have used function based or class based function based Okay, so uh, can you write me down like how can we do component will unmount in function based component? How you are doing component will unmount? Okay, so, okay, so I'm sharing a screen then. I'll show you now, Notepad, if you okay. Uh, okay. That is fine. will have like use effect and here we write this component unwill un will mount component will unmount this way so this is where we write sorry Uh, why is this very low? Hold yeah, for a second. Okay. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay. So I was saying what will happen if we remove the uh, dependency area? So if we remove the dependency area, then use it to will uh, run uh, every time mm -hmm. whenever uh, whenever app uh, render actually. So use will use it will run on every render. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So what is the use of set state? Set state. Uh, it, it, is, it is used to basically update the state in a class based component. Okay, so what will happen if we try to update the state directly? So that way it, it won't re render uh, our application. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so uh, what is controlled and uncontrolled component? Control component, uh, those component <clears throat> which is state we have maintained uh, through our uh, mm -hmm. React com component only. So, like uh, we maintain state using use state of that element if you're using any input element. So, they basically overall state will maintain by the component. And uncontrolled component basically uh, it's more like uh, uh, it's more like uh, traditional way like old old way the way we earlier used to maintain the state so it, uh, it the state basically maintained by the uh, dom actually uh, uh, mm -hmm. instead of instead of using use state so that is what like okay. uh, control component okay uh, okay so for state management what you have used uh, Redux uh, I have used. Okay, so uh, can you explain? Like, uh, explain me the flow. So we have like action uh, reducer store. So to to trigger a state change, we dispatch a component from uh, uh, we did, sorry we, we dispatch an action from component, and then mm -hmm. then then action will reach to the reducer. The reducer will hold the logic for updating the state in a store. Then the store will inform uh, uh, like the UI, like uh, okay. uh, mm -hmm. that you need to re-render. So uh, default, like uh, from reducer, if you are not uh, returning anything, so what will be the default? Uh, default what it will return? It will return Why all the state. Default? Yeah, it will return the if if there is no action is matching. Suppose we fire an action, but the 
we didn't we, we didn't write that uh, action type logic in the speech case. So whatever the initial state we defined, it's just going to return that state in the default. Okay. Uh, okay. So I think I'm done. So do you do you have any question?